and welcome back to another edition of Best of the Drugstore Beauty Bits. Now, I do these every few months, so I will link up the previous videos below because I like to go to Boots and Superdrug, get loads of stuff, road test it out, kind of hoard it, keep it a little secret to myself, and then offload it to you in one massive <laughs> beauty video. And this could be a bit of a long one because I have around 20-ish products here that have really been floating my boat and that I think absolutely rock. So I'm gonna get started. Now I think we will begin with Body Bits and I'm really enjoying this from Garnier and this is their Oil Beauty Oil Infused Nourishing Scrub. It's a really nice scrub. You know sometimes with exfoliants it can be a little bit too gritty, leave your skin feeling quite dry afterwards. With this you don't get that. It's got that whole oily texture to it so you feel quite nourished afterwards but it doesn't leave a greasy film like some um, body exfoliants can do. So this is just a good all-rounder, especially good to use before tanning. Speaking of tanning, I've also been enjoying this and it's from Rimmel and it's their Sun Shimmer Pre-Tan Exfoliator. So this is an exfoliator that has specifically been formulated to be used pre-tan. I don't think it's particularly that different from the Garnier one, but it's just another good solid choice if you're looking for a body exfoliator. And along with this, they've actually released a new instant tan, and this is their Sun Shimmer Instant Tan BB 9-in-1 Skin Perfector. Ooh, that was a mouthful. And you guys know how much I love their original Sun Shimmer. I have gone through copious, copious amounts of that stuff, probably like double digits we're talking, especially back in the day when I was at uni, I wore that stuff all the time. This is more like a creamy version of that, Whereas the original Sun Shimmer was quite gel-like, this is quite like lotion-like in a way, and it has a hint more coverage to it. One thing I would note, I really, really like this stuff, I would go for the light matte version. The medium matte is very, very, very dark. I much prefer the colour of the light one. Another tanning item, are you noticing a bit of a trend here, is this from L'Oreal, and it's their Sublime Bronze Self Tanning Elixir. And this says it lasts two weeks and this is very similar to the Vita Liberata one, their phenomenal tan where you apply it three days consecutively and it's supposed to last two weeks. Now I've given this a go and I've used this much and it was two applications. I did two applications and this is a week later and it's still kind of hanging around. The reason why I didn't do the whole three consecutive applications was because by the second kind of coat of colour I was feeling dark enough. I felt like if I had put the third coat on it would have been a bit in your face. The only thing with this, it says it has no tan smell. I think it does have a tad biscuity slight scent to it but it's not half as bad as some of the others that I've tried and it is non-tinted, so you have to be very careful with your application. But I've been really impressed. It's broken down really naturally on the skin. It doesn't look patchy at all. And a week on, it's still kind of clinging around. Another Faux Glow product, and I promise this is the last one, and this comes from Garnier, and this is their One Week Glow No Streaks Bronzer for the face. And in the same way as the L'Oreal one works, this is really, really long lasting. So it's, it's almost like a really intense version of the Clarins Self Tanning Liquid Bronze Lotion, which I love, but you just apply this as the last step in your evening skincare routine, that's how I use it anyway. Kind of a medium-ish layer, not too thick, not too light, and I found that the next day, and for like quite a few days afterwards, my skin looked nice and bronze and I didn't have to use as much foundation, and that's always a win in my books. So really, really impressed with this stuff, it wasn't too orange, it wasn't too dark, just the right colour and really long lasting as well. I'd say it was around five, six-ish days before I needed to do it again. Moving on to a drugstore skincare product that I've really been enjoying and this is from Rimmel and it's their Just Let It Go Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. Wow, wow, wow. This stuff is so good. It's really been giving the Clarins Instant, what's it called? Instant Eye Makeup Remover? You know the stuff. Um, it's really been giving that a run for its money. I have used this for a long time and I'm only just noticing now that I really haven't used that much out of the bottle. It's oil free so if you don't like that whole oiliness thing going on then this is for you. It also feels quite like the Bioderma in a way, it has that water like consistency but works with waterproof makeup. I'm just so impressed. It does require a bit of kind of like massaging on your lashes to get rid of waterproof mascara but it is so much cheaper than my Clarins one and really superly impressed. If you were going to pick up that one, I'd say pick up this one for like a fraction of the price. 
Now you might have seen me use this in my 5 minute makeup tutorial, it's from Garnier and it's their Miracle Skin Cream. This stuff is basically a half price version of Origins Vitazing. It's one of those moisturisers that comes out, I'll show you actually, comes out kind of white and then when you go like that it goes to like a skin colour. I'm just going to put this on my arms now. But it just gives skin that really nice kind of tint. It's almost like a tinted moisturiser, so I would use this as a moisturiser and kind of as the first part of your makeup routine. It's really nice. It smells mm, super fruity. Um, I would say for really pale skins, this could run a little bit orange on you, so it might be worth trying a tester in the shop. But for me, it's kind of the perfect shade. Really impressed with this. Foundations, right, there have been two that I've really been enjoying and I'll kind of skip over the first one because I've mentioned it before, but it's from L'Oreal and it's their True Match Foundation. I have the shade N1, N2, a wicked foundation, very medium coverage, goes completely undetectable on the skin when you massage it in, an amazing colour range and they're always on some kind of three for two or something like that. Then from Rimmel, their Match Perfection Foundation is actually a really nice one. It reminds me a lot of the Bourjois Happy Light in the way that it's quite light on the skin, it's quite dewy in finish. It's definitely not a matte foundation or a high coverage foundation at all. I'd say the L'Oreal and True Match is slightly more coverage, but this is good for just like an everyday sort of throw on your face, a bit like the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua in the way that you can just kind of throw it on with fingers and be done. And speaking of foundation, there's actually a tool which I just need to kind of say sorry to because I really dismissed this when I first got it and now I really like it and I basically use it every single day. It's from Real Techniques, I think it's called their Miracle Complexion Sponge. I still don't think this is the most perfect thing for applying your foundation, but you know once you've applied your foundation you've got it on and you kind of just need to like tap it in and blend it in a little bit and just make sure it's completely disappeared into the skin. This is perfect for that. Now boy have I got some lip products for you. I've actually got four different products, loads of different shades here to show you. And the first one's come from Body Shop and it's actually what I've got on my lips today even though it has slightly faded. And these are their Colour Crush Shines. Look at these colours, they're gorgeous. I'll see if I can remember what one I've got on. They are super bright, I think I've got this one on. Yes, I have, I've got this one on. This is the shade 14, I'll put some more on there. Not only are the colours of these ridiculously beautiful, but they're also very sheer, which makes it a fabulous way of getting into bowls. If you're kind of not brave enough for a full-on opaque bowl jet, you can just dab some of this on your lips like I have today. Feels like I've, there's nothing even there. It feels like a balm. Nice and shiny, really pretty colours. But if you are feeling something ridiculously opaque and in your face, then may I suggest these. They're from Bourjois. They're new and they're their Rouge Edition Velvets. Oh my word, I've got a pink here, this is the shade, oh, Pink Pong, cute name, uh, this is I think called Red Pepper, Hot Pepper, and then I wasn't too keen on this shade, Peach Club, I just feel like when you're going for a really matte, opaque lip product, you've kind of got to go bold or go home, I don't think it really works as well with more of the neutral shades, but these two, oh yeah, but the formulation of these is so 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 good i think these are probably one of my favorite releases to show you guys because they are just the formula is just so on point they're a liquid lipstick that go on really smoothly really opaque really pigmented and then they dry to a very matte finish and they're just perfect as far as that kind of lip category goes i think these just rule and the reason for it is is that they layer so well they, they don't really dry out or like flake off the lips at all and I actually prefer these to the Hourglass Opaque Rouge which previously were my favourite liquid lipsticks. I think these are miles better. They don't have that kind of flaking and build up problem that those have. You can just keep on throwing these on and they last so well. I put this one on and six, seven hours later it was still there. Not even just like the outline, the whole lip was still there and I had to scrub it off and it actually hurt to take it off because it was that like stuck on my lips. Can you tell that I really like those? But if you want something that still has the pigment but is maybe a bit more forgiving on the lips, then try these from L'Oreal. Annoyingly, they don't have what they're called written on them, but I like this shade. I'll pop it in the description box below. This is Tangerine Sonnet. And they basically are the L'Oreal Glossy Stains. 
I have no idea what really is the difference between them. Very similar in appearance, very similar applicator, basically exactly the same finish on the lips. They're an oil mixed with a kind of lipstick, liquid lipstick, that's their selling point. So they're very comfortable on the lips, very moisturising, um, but they're basically the L'Oreal Glossy Stains, which is great for a fraction of the price. I will very quickly touch on these, they're from Maybelline and they are the Colour Sensational Shine Glosses. Love them, done a whole post about them so I will link that below. Moving on to hair and I basically have two or bay dupes to show you and a dupe for their Maximista Thickening Spray is this from VO5 and it's their Give Me Texture Tousled Style Spray. Apply it onto damp hair and then blow dry as normal and you get a really nice matte kind of slightly wavy bed head texture to your locks. And then this from Charles Worthington, this is their Salon at Home range, and this is the Volume and Bounce Texturizing Spray, which basically is the Obey Dry Texturizing Spray. And please don't take my hair kind of as the evidence for <laughs> how good these are, because right now it is a flat, hot mess. But these are both amazing at just adding texture and kind of volume to your locks. For nails, I'm still absolutely loving these Salon Pro polishes. I just think they're some of the best on the high street there. Brush is amazing, the formula is great, everything about them is just a complete win-win, including the shade names. I've mentioned this one before in a favourites video, this is Oh Mr Darcy, amazing. And then this one is Happily Evie After, so cute. And then I kept hearing that this from Sally Hansen, this is their Insta Dry Top Coat, was a dupe for the Sesh V Top Coat, so of course I had to give it a go. And although I would say it's probably not as fast drying as the Sesh V, it is very, very similar. It leaves your nails with like that really high shine, glass-like finish and dry within a matter of minutes. So those are my favourite drugstore finds as of late. I'm sure come Monday I will be back there filling up my basket for the next round of these videos, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.